So you come in from a successful day of fishing, and the next step is to fillet your fish and prepare it for the table. You got a big striped bass here. We already bled it out in the live well, so you're going to have nice white meat. It's going to make the they're going to make the fish last longer. It's going to extend the shelf life of the of the meat, and it's also going to make it taste better. So the first thing you're going to need is a good fillet knife. We got the uh, Mustad fillet knife here. It's got some give, but it's also a bit of a stiff knife, which is what you need when you're doing big fish like this. Your first cut, like most fish, is going to be behind the head. If you angle the knife a little bit forward and get underneath the first set of scales, it makes it a lot easier, and it also keeps your knife sharper. So you come underneath around the head, it's going to come right down to the bottom of the belly. Okay. What I like to do is flip the fish around. I'm going to flip the knife around this way and come in right here and follow the spine down. Now the first thing people tend to make a mistake with is they want to force the knife and push on it. If you've got to push on the knife super hard, then you're going against bone and you're not the right spot. The knife should kind of dictate to you where it's going to go. Come over here to the tail. You got it straight across like that. Finish your cut. Now you're going to want to come back up here in the top and just follow that rib cage right down. Do this a couple of times until you get to the center of the fish, which is right here. See the spinal cord, you want to come right over the top of that with your knife. Come back the other way, jump over the spine, hold your knife down. You want to keep it tight against the ribs, this way you don't lose that much meat. Okay, when you get to the rib cage here, you want to angle your knife up and kind of float over the top of it instead of pushing the knife through the bones. You get up over the top of that rib cage. Just keep following it along, following along. Okay, now you get down to this part. I'm just gonna take the fillet right off from the fish. Okay, so now we got one side of the fish filleted. Okay, we'll put this down. I'll show you what you do here. Okay, clean your scales off the knife. If you have any trimmings, belly meat left, you want to cut that away. Okay, come over here to the tail, get the knife underneath the meat, and stop when you hit the skin. Hold this part tight so the fish doesn't move, and just let the knife walk along the skin. So you get to the end. Okay, you got the skin, set that off to the side. Now, when you're doing striped bass, they have a large area of red meat on the inside of the spine. This meat is gonna taste the fishiest. Um, it's gonna add strong flavor to your dish. Typically, most people like that to be removed. You're also gonna have a few center bones right in here that need to be removed. So what I like to do, is get rid of both of those in one shot. Take your knife, come a little bit off center, come right down and follow this, this center line here. I'm just gonna keep the knife about a half inch in on top of it. Come right down the whole length of the fillet, like this. Now, you come on the, the other side of the fillet, the other side of the center line. Do the same thing, a half inch down from the center and come right down and separate that dark meat from your filet in one shot. Now this ribbon here is where all the dark meat is in the middle and this is the part you want out and it also has the bones in it. Set that to the side. Now you have two pieces of nice white fish. You can portion it out. This piece here, you got the same thing. You got a little bit of dark meat here, so I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a trim like this and try to get rid of more of that dark meat. If it's a smaller size fish, like a 28 inch bass, that's not gonna have as much dark meat on it and you don't have to go through so much trouble. But if you take your time and get rid of that now, it's gonna make your finished product taste that much better. Portion this again off like this. 
and you're done.